and hello everybody welcome back to soul tv episode 14 to be exact so we are going to be talking about so we are going to be talking about this pandemic and what we can do so if you're bored at home and you have nothing to do you can do you can play jump rope you can do you can do Hoop. You can do yoga, you can run, you can do relay races with your family, your siblings. If you don't have siblings, walk your dog. If you don't have a dog, <laughs> um, give your pet a bath. If you don't have a pet, then draw something. And let's get on to the next part of this video. Like, yo! Hi, my name is Zoe Bort, and um, I'm going to review a book called Go Go Sadie. It's about a sloth that's going to go on a jungle run and that and wins the jungle run and cheetahs go in the jungle run. And sloths are really slow, but everybody believed in Sadie, so she won. Sadie won. Sloth won. And I'm going to show you the important page. Well, it's not really so important, but, and it says right on this page right here that she lives in Costa Rica. Oh, and I think I said, but the sloth's name is Sadie. And, um, I'll get to the page where they're going to go on the jungle run. So this is the jungle run. But it hasn't started yet. This is the jungle room. Those are all her friends under the jungle room sign. And the this sloth right here is in um, her mom's lap. And her mom is saying that I believe in you, my little Sadie. If you try your best, you can do anything. So, yeah, and the unfortunate page is where she, where she wins, and it's by Bonnie Lady Lee, and it has a sticker because everybody loves it. This week's Friday challenge. We're gonna do a leg lift competition. See who can hold their feet up off the ground the longest, six inches off the ground. Hold it as long as you can. And keep your hand, head back if you need to. And that's your challenge. So we'll see who can go the longest. Good luck. My name is Sophia and welcome back to Soul TV Sports and in today's segment we'll be talking about how sports are coming back and three of the main sports that are coming back is Korean baseball, women's soccer and pro golf. So right now those are the only sports that are coming back because of the COVID-19. 
But I hope all the other sports come back so we can go back outside and do some activity and exercise instead of laying in bed all day because that's not good for you. Okay, sports fans, that's all we have for this week's sports segment. Have a good rest of your day. Bye! So let's just get started. So in a pan, I have cooking on medium heat, ground turkey, and then we're gonna add onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So let me show you what the turkey looks like before I season it. All right. All right, as you can see, the turkey has been cooking for quite some time. It's almost cooked. Um, but you see that water like right there? We're gonna have to make that evaporate, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, like I said, you guys, there is water in there, so in order for it to evaporate when everything's cooked, you're just take the lid off and kind of just let the water, you know, just evaporate. It takes some time, but while it's evaporating, I'm going to be showing you other things. So that way, by the time the water's evaporated, everything will be ready and everything will be ready to serve. All right, so it is time to season the meat. So I'm going to be using a little bit of salt. I don't have exact measurements, just depending on how much turkey you have, I'm sure you can like eyeball how much you need to use. I'm just gonna put like a little bit of salt. You want, it's better to under season than to over season because if you under season, you can always add more. But if you over season, if there's like really no going back. Oh my gosh, okay. And a little bit of pepper. Alrighty. And then I'm just gonna give this a quick little stir before I add in the onion and the garlic powder. Let's go to the pan. So, now I'm going to add you don't want your meat to just predominantly taste like onion. I mean, it's, it's probably gonna be good flavor, but you, you don't want something too overpowering because then, you know, this just might be just too much flavor and we don't want that. So you just want like a good set of flavor and then we're gonna try You can, if when you smell it, you smell just enough of like each flavor, but it's not too overpowering. So it's good to, you can taste your food, but you just wanna just like smell it too. I'm sure you can get like a pretty good idea from the taste. And if you're wondering why I didn't add a lot of salt, it's because I put cheese on my tacos, so the cheese is kind of salty. And so if you put the right amount of salt in your turkey and cheese, it might be too salty. So you have to under salt it, under salt your turkey, and then put your cheese on. And then it'll be like the like right ratio, but if you don't put cheese on your chocolate, then you can put a little bit more salt in me. Just, I don't want, or something. Yeah, it's okay. Everything's cooked, so I'm just gonna let this evaporate. And you don't wanna put your lid on like this, because then that traps the water inside. Where, where, I grabbed it on the lid, but you get what I'm saying. It traps water inside. So you want, so you want to just let it, Turkey pan, this is what it looks like. 
had it for a long time, so it's not fresh, but it does have strawberries. So I'm only getting that for tortillas. I'm using corn. By the way, you can use flour or anything else, really. You could even use like, lettuce to make it like lettuce wrap. So possibilities are really endless. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put them on my I'm just gonna put them on the burner, the turkey, is, I mean the water is almost out of the pot, so it is evaporating. Yeah. But you can add anything you want to the turkey, you can add just anything really, it's very it's, um, very flexible, for lack of a better word, it's easy to make in a sense that you can just Alright you guys, I'm going to be trying the turkey tacos. I put some onion, some cilantro, and then some cheese on top, just a little bit. So, yeah, let's give this a nice good taste. I don't know. Sorry, I was really bad. Okay. Sorry, it's something in my mouth because I have food. Um, but really good flavor. The meat. Let me just taste it a little piece. The meat is really good flavor. You can taste like a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. Um you can taste the pepper, but then the saltines of the cheese balances out the saltine, like the under, how under salted turkey. Um, the onion gives it really good flavor. Cilantro makes it taste like very refreshing. And then again, the cheese adds like a really good saltine. So I really like this flavor combo. You can add hot sauce to yours. You can add lime. You can even pair it with Mexican rice. That is really good. I just didn't have time to make it, but yeah, I really hope you like this What's Cooking. At least, I'm pretty sure this is the last one uh, until next year. But, yeah, I really hope you like it. Um, yeah, all right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also, have a great summer. All right, I'll see you guys. My name is Jordan, and today we have a very special guest, astronaut Brian, the myth, the legend, and the man. Hello Brian, what are you here to do for us today? Launch you in to Weekend History. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, thank you for that, Brian. Let's get down to business. On June 1st, 1938, American writer Jerry Siegel created Superman and featured him for the first time in DC Comics action series. On June 2nd, 1935, famous US baseball player Babe Ruth retired after 22 seasons, 10 World Series, and 704 home runs. That is a lot of home runs. On June 3rd, 1968, Andy Warhol, a famous artist who was known for the pop art movement, was shot and wounded in New York. He survived his attack, thankfully, and he lived 19 more years. On June 4th, 1984, Bruce Springsteen released his best-selling album, 
born in the USA. Mic drop. On June 5th, 1956, Elvis Presley released his new single song called Hound Dog. Like this hound dog right here. Let's get on with it, shall we? On June 6th, 1933, the first drive-in movie theater opened in Camden, New Jersey. On June 7th, 1966, U.S. Ronald Reagan enters politics for the first time when he was elected governor of California. Uh, and then he eventually became the, 40, the 40th president of the USA. He, he has a long history, Ronald Reagan. Well, that's all that I have for you this week, folks. This was your Week in History. Seven, six, five, all three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. Shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the drift.
very sorry. Okay. Um, so this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So, bye. Bye, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.